continued learning is everything when it comes to creating success and doing it for a lifetime. That's exactly what we're doing here at Supreme Ecom and what we've been doing, mastering the skills of learning TikTok ads so that you can keep learning and making money online with us. And I'm going to be talking to my head consultant here at Supreme Ecom about everything we learned about TikTok, the strategies, the ad marketing, the creatives, everything that you need to know to get the real success that you're looking for in TikTok in 2023. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, before we let Trey into here, each and every week I give out a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call to one lucky winner to hop on a call to get all of your questions answered and streamline your success while doing so. If you want the opportunity to win this free call, all you have to do is smash that like button down below and in the comment section below, comment the word Supreme Ecom with your biggest takeaway from this video. Along with that, we've been closing these spots out very quickly and we are down to only a couple spots left in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And if you're looking to take advantage of these three spots that I have available to grab you by the hand and tailor this entire mentorship to you and your experience that you have, head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word mentorship or apply with the link down below and I'll reach out to help you get started. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring Trey in, break down every single thing that we're implementing on TikTok, the strategies that we're putting in place and how you guys can replicate the exact same success. Let's go ahead and jump into it. What's going on, Trey? Happy to have you here, my boy. Go ahead and give everybody a rundown of who you are, when you join this one-on-one -on -one mentorship, and where you're from. What's going on, everyone? I'm um, Trey. So I'm one of the head consultants here at SupremeCom. But originally, I did join the mentorship about two years ago during the peak COVID times. I actually was originally from Virginia, then I moved out to Dallas, and then that's actually where I met AC in the gym. And essentially, I asked exactly, hey, what do you do nowadays? And he said, I drop ship, and that would pique my interest. And to where that led me to actually be a particular drop shipper, to where now I'm actually a head consultant at SupremeCom from what me being a drop shipping. And that's literally crazy because I actually remember the first day that you actually met me in the gym. And we've been hustling every single day since. We've been grinding every day since. We went through this one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And I'm proud to have you here at Supreme Econ being a head consultant. So just give a background to everybody in here. What was actually the original reason that you got into dropshipping? Essentially, the real reason why I joined, you know, into the dropship business, because I did see a huge opportunity to have, you know, making money online, be able to be my own boss, and essentially just have my own exactly business to run, right? Um, I think that's nowadays the goal for everyone, you know, not to just a standard nine to five, go to college, you know, the standard route of how our, you know, parents generation was doing. It's a whole new generation. And I saw this is a huge opportunity for me to do so. And that's exactly where I took it to where I was able to go ahead and get a mentor and actually help me guide to achieve those results and actually achieve my goals that I have for myself back two years ago to where, where I am nowadays. Hey, if you guys did not see that first testimonial from Trey when he was in the mentorship and generated over $100,000, make sure to check that on Supreme Ecom's YouTube channel as well. So we all know that you had great success, but one thing I want to ask you is how did it feel having all that success back then, especially as being a complete beginner? And what do you think you would say as your biggest takeaway in this one-on-one -on -one mentorship? Yeah, the feeling that I had back then was ecstatic. I mean, essentially, you know, being back to such a young age and making that amount of money was crazy. You know, I can go ahead and buy anything and everything that I wanted. But I did realize I had to stay humble to where I had to stay hungry because that was just a little taste. And I wanted a bigger taste for more future endeavors. And my biggest takeaway from that is not to just stay humble, but always to keep learning, always keep updating my brain to make sure I'm up to date on, you know, current strategies. So I can always stay ahead of the curb and always beat out my competition to go ahead and keep providing for my family. No, I definitely love how you said keep learning because we're about to break down everything that we've been learning with TikTok, the strategies we've been implementing and how we're diversifying our advertising portfolio. But before we get into that, I have another question of just what piece of advice that you would give to somebody if they're just now trying to get started with job shipping. So one piece of advice I would have to anyone who's starting drop shipping is to do your research, have a strategy behind it, and actually have small steps to go ahead and achieve that big goals you want to achieve for yourself in your drop shipping journey. Nice, man. I appreciate you giving that feedback for especially everyone who's just now watching. But it's time to get into the value that everyone's been waiting, and that is the open door to what success we're having now with TikTok ads. So we now have been working with different students. We've now been implementing new strategies. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the successes that students have been having and how we've been achieving them overall. 
Man, I'm so glad you brought up the TikTok. You know, that's the new way of advertisement is going crazy right now. It's a hot market. I want to go and actually show a student currently that's actually running TikTok, actually getting results from running TikTok. His name is Edgar. He's going crazy right now. So let me go and actually share my screen, guys, so you guys can actually see what's going on right here, okay? So as you can see in my screen right here, this is our student, Edgar. And as you can see right here, Edgar is going crazy with 21 orders, 555 in a day. But if you think that was just not it, that wasn't. As we scroll down right here, you can go and actually see right here. He says, we actually finished our day at almost $700 just off of TikTok, right? And I mean, that's just or TikTok organic, not even getting into the TikTok ads part. You know, if we mix both of them, that's even double that right there. So as you guys can go and see right here, end of the day with just straight organic free paid ads off of $682, 25 orders, and just like that from TikTok, guys. This is absolutely insane, and he's not just stopping right here, okay? And actually, something that's crazy for everyone that's watching is this is a little bit of how we're doing creative testing now. We have our students testing and scaling with TikTok organic creatives and then finding ones that work and then scaling them up with the ads portion. And that's how our students are taking advantage of it. But it does not just stop here. We've also been working with the other couple students. Let's go ahead and check out the results as well. I mean, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. $1,300 in two days. Christian Ramirez was going crazy. 4.93 conversion rate. Again, with almost half of this being organic traffic from TikTok. And here's another student, Scott Carney, right here, actually going crazy with the TikTok making about 47k October 24th I mean 3.84 percent conversion rate absolutely going crazy with the TikTok and I'm not just saying that to say that as you can see right here Scott said it himself no excuses these days organic TikTok is making kids million dollars a day I mean essentially grow your wings test it out and just go absolutely crazy Hey, and the value does not just stop there because now we're about to get into all of the sauce and everything that you guys need to be doing if you want to be taking advantage of getting these exact same results. So I'm going to go ahead and let you stop sharing your screen and let's go ahead and get into this value. So results are great and all, but Trey, I want to hear from you and you'll probably hear from me as well. What are probably the key takeaways that everyone should know if they actually want to have the same success with TikTok? One of the most important things in TikTok is the creatives. That's one of the key foundations you need to do to be able to be successful in TikTok ads. And I'll definitely feed off of that because actually one of the hardest things that I had to overcome and all of us here at Supreme Income had to overcome was understanding how to treat our creatives way different than we've ever had before. You cannot run your ads on TikTok the exact same way you run them on Facebook. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, nothing like TikTok is the same as Facebook. I mean, when I'm scrolling on TikTok, I'm seeing everything that's personable. I'm seeing everything that's just funny, dancing, that's grabbing the customer's attention to where a Facebook ads, you have to have exactly salesy, buy 50% off or whatever the case may be. A hundred percent. But also what we've been seeing on TikTok is also cheaper metrics. And that's also why our students are getting a lot cheaper clicks, which is increasing their profitability overall. So I want to let you go ahead and go in on that as well. No, I mean, the metrics are cheaper on TikTok. I mean, the cost per click is way cheaper. When I'm looking at my KPIs, I'm seeing so many cost per clicks underneath a dollar. I mean, that's very cheap traffic. I mean, the reason why is because on TikTok, when I'm scrolling, I don't see a shop now button. So there's no cost per unique link click. I'm just scrolling and see a cost per click. You know, whereas Facebook, I have to go ahead and click to then go to the product page and actually take that into my metrics. And that's just speeding the process along, getting more traffic onto our students' websites and allowing them to take advantage of this trend. And one thing you guys don't realize that Trey just said, and he just briefly talked about it, but we're also taking our past winners that we've already found on Facebook and we're just taking them on TikTok and they're working even better than before. The products I'm testing on Facebook, I'm also testing on TikTok, but that does not mean I'm not stopping to test on Facebook because I want to have double platforms to go and actually double the amount of orders, double the amount of profit, and double the amount of traffic to my store to be able to go ahead and crazy, especially for this Q4 season right now. And you're not lying. I mean, we're not going to just rely on only one platform, but now we're just using TikTok to our advantage. So with new strategies, new platforms, new things that are coming out, how are you developing these skills and how are we enhancing our skills at Supreme Ecom to constantly stay updated with the new things that are happening? 
Yeah, I mean, we all have a story here at Supreme Com. We're always testing out different strategies. We're always testing out different products. We're always testing out different creatives and different marketing angles for us to all understand what how we can achieve the best results for our own stores and how we can actually teach everyone at Supreme Com how to go ahead and scale in their own store as well. And if you guys don't know, we spend thousands of dollars, I mean, every single month testing, okay? Because we already understand that content is king and data is queen. So we're spending hours and hours and hours and thousands of dollars trying to figure out this stuff for you guys so you do not have to make the same mistakes. Yeah, and when we first started TikTok ads, we would go ahead and find 40 products a day, go ahead and test 20, 30 products a week, and then go ahead and try to find exactly what's the best winner for us. But that didn't happen, all right? But now, essentially, now we're getting, <laughs> now we're getting sales, now we're getting profitability. Um, why, why are we doing that? Well, to help you guys not make the same mistakes when you first start, making sure you guys know exact strategies, know exact roadmap for you guys to be able to go ahead and be profitable in your store. And you guys heard what he said. Literally, we probably failed. I don't even know how many times when we first started off. But what is true failure without true success? We had to go through these trials and tribulations, failing on products, learning the right KPIs and metrics we should be looking for on our ads, what our creatives should be looking like. I mean, we had to learn everything from A through Z so we could be able to teach you guys the exact same thing. We're not going to go out here and just try one thing one time. There's no real testimony of success without backed up data behind it. So even through this, Trey, and us failing and trying new things and finally getting success and now understanding everything that goes into TikTok ads, my question for you is, how has the struggle been with knowing that you had to fail first to even get the success you're looking for? And on top of that, how could having a mentor be able to help other students achieve the same success that we show for other students? No, essentially, I mean, I had to go ahead and fail with all those products we tested because then I now know, okay, my marketing angle, I'm just not marketing the right person. I'm not having the correct storyline for my creatives and my TikTok. I needed to fail to make sure I now know how to market. I now know how to create a storyline and I now know what price to put for my product. Because one time I had a high price for TikTok, I lowered the price and I started receiving orders just because of one simple change of reducing the price, right? So all those things that I learned that I failed, now I was able for me to actually be successful. And now I want to go and actually teach this, let people know, please, please, creatives is everything you need to do to be successful in TikTok. And I don't want to teach something that I haven't done yet or I haven't had success in because I'm going to go ahead and make sure I am successful successful in it first. And then I'm able to go ahead and teach and give the right value to guide you exactly to make sure you're successful in your own store in Supreme Com. And speaking of success, a lot of success comes from being guided without wasting time, money, effort, or energy into the wrong direction. And we have a lot of people do that inside this mentorship. So my question for you is how could having a mentor help other people who might be struggling with the same thing? It actually eliminates the mistakes that you might make when you first start into a new business because they have actually already tried and they actually have already made the mistakes and they want to go ahead and actually help you not make the same mistakes and give you an easier road to actually be successful in your particular journey of starting a new business. And I like that because there's small little things that you guys might be overlooking that might be causing a major impact in the success that you have that could all be answered only a couple minutes if you are investing in people who are doing exactly what you want to do in this world well i definitely appreciate that feedback that response i think everybody that's watching is definitely going to take something away from that as well so i just really appreciate you being on here today trey and i'll be talking to you soon no i appreciate that but before we head off i want to go and ask you a question essentially is like what's your biggest takeaway from tiktok ads and what we've been doing you know in our store Honestly, I think just my biggest takeaway is you can have the best product in the world. You can have the best product page in the world, but your creative is everything on TikTok. And the entire vision that you have on what an advertisement should be looking like, what you've seen on Facebook and Instagram, you have to wipe that completely out and completely start over when it comes to what your vision should be looking like for your TikTok creative. So with creatives being the actual definition of your success, take advantage of the content that's available on the platform. I mean, there is so much and don't spend too much time trying to overthink what your creative should be. So pump these ads out, hit different angles, find all the things that is already readily available for you, use your resources, and you can never truly fail. I appreciate you being in here, my boy. Everybody that's watching, smash that like button below if you enjoy what Trey said. And I'm gonna go ahead and get back into this video. 
hope that you all love getting the opportunity to meet one of my consultants on my Supreme team and seeing what we're currently working on to keep learning and making money online. Now, my one-on-one -on -one mentorship was built to change lives and we're looking forward to bringing the TikTok ads to you to help you expand how you can be making money online. Now, before I head out, you know I cannot forget to mention the free one-on-one -on -one consulting call winner from last week's video for the one lucky person who took action. And the winner from last week's video is Austin Aries. Austin, congratulations on winning. Reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. Let me know that you won. We can hop on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call, look over your ads, look over your products, help you out with anything that you have questions over TikTok, and making sure you continue to streamline your success. And again, if you want the chance to win next week, all you have to do is smash Smash that like button down below. Comment the word Supreme Ecom with your biggest takeaway from this video. Now, if this video inspired you to start your e-commerce business or just to keep going, go ahead and subscribe to our channel to continue to show love. I'll see you all next time. This is AC with Supreme Ecom, and I'm out.